to theblaze.com slash TV for a free 14-day trial of the Blaze Plus. It's the best way to experience all that is the Blaze. The historically gun-friendly state of Colorado continues to inch ever closer to states more like New York, where tough gun control measures have been signed into law. So it should come as no surprise that opponents of the five gun control bills that were passed by Colorado Senate last night are pointing the finger of blame right here at the Empire State. Well, Greg Brophy is one of those state senators, and he joins us now for Q&A. Greg, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me on. All right, so why are we New Yorkers at fault for the Colorado Senate passing these gun control bills? Well, Mayor Bloomberg has come here to Colorado and hired a couple of lobbyists and spent a bunch of money on advertising and, and polling and everything else here to push uh, an anti-gun agenda in Colorado. So, but I'm curious about that, Senator. How is it that he was able to have so much influence, uh, more influence than, you know, presumably the NRA or other gun rights groups? How did this battle play out in Colorado with these outsiders, it seems, battling over gun control? Well, that's what happens when you have uh, Democrats controlling both the House and the Senate and on the first floor, and, and you have to assume that they've gotten the, the very clear message from Mayor Bloomberg that they would have his support in the upcoming election cycle. You know, he's been playing in elections all over the country, and, and I imagine that they have the sense that that same thing's going to happen here in 2014. So, Senator, are you saying that basically it was sort of like campaign money bribery for a gun control vote? Well, I think they still align with his agenda, but then they are emboldened to take on the NRA and the rest of Colorado if they think that someone will come in and backstop them with the spending of several million dollars in campaign funds. You betcha. So, Senator, I read uh, to my great delight and pleasure that you own some semi-automatic weapons and you have a contest of shooting watermelons at your farm, but you've also said that you will not obey uh, the law, if it's signed into law, to limit magazine clips to 15 rounds. My question to you, Senator, is are you willing to go to jail for an act of civil disobedience like this when it comes to gun control? You know, if I have to, I will. The problem with the bill is, is it doesn't disarm the bad guys. They can have access to 30-round magazines from any other state. They can keep them themselves. They can steal them from somebody. And that leaves me as, as a father and as a farm owner defenseless against them if they come in and I am outgunned. And, and everybody knows, you know, uh, the answer to how many uh, bullets you need in your magazine, well, it's, it's easy. One more than the bad guys have. So, Senator, uh, our viewers at home will see this list. The five bills that were passed in the Senate yesterday include uh, shifting background check costs to the purchaser, that they'll have to pay for it personally, background right. checks for private gun sales, 15-round magazine capacity, as we mentioned, a ban on selling guns to anyone who's charged with domestic violence, and increased training for concealed weapons permits. I understand that shifting the cost to gun purchasers on those background checks is supposed to go to the governor's desk and will most likely be signed into law. Of the other proposals, do you expect those also to become Colorado state law? Oh, I'm positive they will be. They have, uh, you know, the, the two controversial ones, the magazine ban and the, and the ban on private sales has already passed the House one time and they're just going back to uh, approve the Senate amendments to those bills. So I think it'll be a rubber stamp in the House and on the way to the governor. So, Senator, given that you think that these laws are, or these uh, bills will become law in the state of Colorado, what can we expect from you in terms of your activism uh, opposing these moves? Well, we're going to probably challenge some of them in court, but then, uh, you know, elections have consequences. There's another election coming up in November 2014. I think we're going to flip this uh, General Assembly back to the Republicans and, and maybe even take out a fairly popular Democrat governor here in Colorado because they've just overreached. Senator, They're listening to people from New York instead of Colorado. Senator, any chance that you might be staging a watermelon shooting contest on your farm with uh, magazines over 15 rounds? Well, stay tuned. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up enough 15-round magazines between now and then, and I'll be darned if I'll not dispose of my watermelons in the best way possible. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining us. You bet.